smells terrible. <laughs> yeah, it really does. Ah, <sighs> nothing like starting your day with a little chum. Auger's taller than me, look at that. <laughs> look at this. That auger is taller than I am. That's how we do it on Lake Winnipeg. Oh boy. Although I'm not very tall. Check out this van, holy cow. Big tracks, this thing is built for Lake Winnipeg. This is the kind of machine where you do not have to worry about going through this nasty stuff right here. Today I am out on Lake Winnipeg home of the famous greenback walleyes of Manitoba. And what better, what better spot to do this intro than in front of this insane, insane van with tracks. Um, check these things out. This belongs to our guide today, Todd Longley, who's still gearing up. This is my first time ever on Lake Winnipeg. Um, I've never caught a greenback walleye before. Um, so we just finished setting up the hubs to my left and to my right here and I'm gonna go join Brett in the big one here do some jigging probably start out with a big rattle bait because you know went on Winnipeg do as as the win what is it Brett Winnipegonians went on Winnipeg do as the Winnipegonians do so I'm gonna hop in the shack and see if we can catch a few fish oh and the reason why we are hopping in a shack today is because it is freezing freezing cold out so this is the first thing on this trip that has actually made me feel at home we're setting up dead sticks something we do all the time back in the states um so since it is negative 20 degrees out and if i can get this minnow since it's negative 20 degrees out we are setting up camp and when you're setting up camp it is tough to beat a dead stick right so me and brett both have our aggressive presentations and uh, yeah, this is barbless in Manitoba, so we we're putting a little, a little stopper on here so you can't swim off. And Todd recommended something with a little flash. So we are all rigged up, put it about a foot off the bottom. Hopefully, we will draw them in with the rattles and seal the deal with the, with the uh, dead stick. So, oh, dude, dude, huge, huge. Huge mark on the dead stick on the dead stick hole. Look at the size of that mark, man. Dude, oh my word, that is a Winnipeg hog. Where's she gone? She gone, dude. She gone. Keep jigging. You might get her over there. All right. So now that we're all set up in the shack here, all uh, cooped up with the cold temperatures outside, Brett is doing something a little special and uh, warming up some salties. And yeah. why are you doing that, Brett? So, we can't chum in Minnesota, but you can here in Manitoba. Oh, you can probably smell that through the camera. And so a couple of years ago, when I was up, actually like four or five years ago, I was up here with my buddy Zatch Jackson. We were cooped up in a hub because it was negative 24 degrees again. And uh, we started throwing some minnows down the hole. And every single time that we would mash some up and throw them down the hole, within a couple minutes, we would catch a fish every single time it wasn't just like we did it once it was uh you know 10 12 times over the course of the day so soupier the better stinkier the better melting them down a little bit over the heater to get that kind of sludge mushy sludge in there i'm gonna mash them up with the ice scoop and throw down a handful and uh, see if we can't bring some fish to us while it's negative 24 degrees and uh we'll do some hole hopping later once it warms up to like Negative 10. I'm just getting warmed up. The 
can't believe you wasted that good stuff pouring it down the hole. <laughs> well, it's kind of thirsty. <laughs> dead stick. I just happened to be looking at that thing and was watching my minnow bounce around. Then the bounces got pretty aggressive. So again, not a giant, but it's a green back though. Look at the color, man. Oh. Ah! First time ever holding the fish. We'll just keep rolling with that. We'll just let it do its thing. <laughs> Look at the colors of that fish. Got some food. Ooh, dude, are Special you serious? Special delivery. Holy cow. Wash the cheese, the cheese smokies are. Ooh. It's spicy. Spicy, oh my word. You get a walleye in the same shot with the food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no! no. <laughs> the walleye wanted some. Dude, this thing will not stop. <laughs> All right, so we just got done munching some food and the bite has been kind of slow. So we, Ugh. So we are going out to adventure. It's warmed up a little bit. It's probably up to like negative 10 or so. We're gonna go hop some holes and find some fish and we're gonna jump in this big giant awesome machine. All right, so we just hopped into the honey badger and when you're on a big lake like Lake Winnipeg, you need to make big moves. Now, I don't know what time it is. It's probably like one o'clock right now. I kind of figured that it would be warming up a little bit more than it has, but if you look on the dash here, I don't know if you can see that. Okay, you definitely can't see it, but minus cold. It's, it's minus cold. It's still negative 19 degrees out, but we're gonna go outside and fish because we need to go find some fish. The action was too slow, too slow in our area. Xbox. Oh, here's one. Really? Yep. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, that is a fish. Come in off the bottom. Start swimming, buddy. Start chasing, buddy. No! Come back! <laughs> you mark it? Oh! Yeah, yeah buddy. A little bit of run and gun. Not a big one. It's the second one we marked here, though. Second one we marked in uh, so, two minutes. I got faith that we're gonna get into some now. That was like a bunch of spots. We drilled a little few holes in each place and put that one back. There she goes. Let's get some bigger ones, boys. Hey, bud. Spot. I think we're gonna drill some more holes here. Let's drop line. Oh, I'm marking one now. Graffin. And she gone. Straight rejection. Feels bad, man. Do a little bonfire and uh, grind it out. Oh, here we go. Bit. Here's one. Nick's graphing again. Oh. I should be fishing. Dude, there's no fish here. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I see that fish. Man, he was just out. In and out. Later that same evening. <laughs> we should bring it all together, I guess, so we don't pull it off. As long as that head can come in. Hold on here, let me, is the head in bro? That's a good okay. one. Yeah, the head's in. Oh yeah, it's a big, oh. big one! Oh my word! Big one! Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah buddy! Yeah buddy! Dude, that is why. It demolished oh, it boys. That is goodness. insane. Just dropped it down. No way. Fat rattle bait. Oh. Look at that. Ooh, giant. I, I just drilled that hole too, gentlemen. Look at how thick <laughs> that thing is. That's it's gotta bad. be like the biggest wall I've ever seen. Look at that. Oh, okay, we'll get a measure. Let's get we'll, get, we'll get it inside. Would you like it on video? Yeah, that's it. Just okay. hit record, yeah. Here we go, 28 inch green back. Back Let's to the depth. Let's see it. Let's go. He's going. And there she goes. Kicks her way down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Woo! That's awesome. 
<laughs> yeah, guys. Unreal. At Dude. crunch time. At crunch time, too. Here. Okay, go cash one, guys. Go cash one. <laughs> yes. Ah. Uh, go get one. Did you see the shoulders on that fish? That is unbelievable. All right, we're hopping back in the shack. All right, guys, I think we are going to call it a day. It was a fun day, but we didn't smash them. This is kind of like the first day of a major cold front up here in Manitoba, and uh, we have a couple other buddies on the ice, and they're catching a few. Basically did about the same as we did. One big one and a handful of eaters. How many eaters would you say we caught, Brett? Enough to eat. Enough to eat, he said. <laughs> um, <laughs> So yeah, we're calling it a day. We have to uh, we have to head over to a walleye anglers of Manitoba meeting with Eric and a few other buddies, and it sounds like we we may be doing some standing up on the stage and whatnot. So anyway, I just wanted to thank all you guys for watching. Uh, Lake Winnipeg has always been on my bucket list, and I'm glad that I was at least able to see one of the hog master anglers. So until next time, I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, to hit that little like button down below and even subscribe if you want to see more videos. So, until next time, peace out.